I recently just got the Canon G7X Mark II, but I normally vlog with my iPhone 6. I have a special case that I adapted here to use the Oloclip wide angle lens with my iPhone case, right? And so I often also use the Rode SmartLav microphone with a cable connected to my iPhone. And so today, guys, what I wanna do is um, just compare these two cameras for like daily vlogging. All right, so let's go ahead and begin the test. All right, there we go. The test has begun. All right, so let's go ahead and compare these two cameras. This is in my office. I have fairly good lighting in here, but I have a bunch of light bulbs. Let's just show you what we've got here. We've got this light bulb here. All right, we've got that one right there. And then we've got that one and that one and that one. So we've got a lot of lighting in this room. Let's go out into the rest of the house, kind of the normal area, and see how that looks. Hey, we've got a couple people out here we can bug. Seth, let's bug Seth for a minute. Hi, bud. Hi. What you playing? I am playing drag, um, Dragon Mania, I think it's called. Dragon Mania. It's fun. Nice. All right, thanks for sharing. Okay, in, in this room here, we do have one air conditioner running right now. And so you might be able to hear that in the background. And then over here in kind of a lower light situation, we have got somebody relaxing on the couch. Hey, Jules, what you doing on the couch? Reading. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Old Yeller. Old Yeller. Cool, has uh, anything bad happened to him yet? Nope. Still all good. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, guys, let's cruise outside now and we will check out camera quality out here. Shut the door. All right, we've got another air conditioner or the outside part of the air conditioner running out here. Maybe you can hear it. Yeah, that's it right there. Yep. All right. This right here is my motorcycle. Cruise around it here. Give you guys an idea. Nice. Here is some garlic that I'm growing and weeds that I'm growing right now. And then this right here is some chives. This right here is a Carolina Reaper pepper plant, but it's not growing anything yet. It's just just kind of stunted right here just like this and I don't know why so one other thing that might be important to you as a vlogger is being able to focus on something small and yet close up so let's give both of these cameras a test here so I've got an Indonesian coin here in my hand all right we see both cameras focused on it let's take it out of the picture bring it back in all right that's nice and fast yeah both cameras seem to respond quickly now let's bring it up closer take it out and we'll go straight to the G7X. There we go. We got it in focus, yeah? That's great. Okay, let's try the iPhone. iPhone's in. iPhone's focused. iPhone's focused. That thing's so quick. Whoop. Dropped it. All right, now let's just try, we'll just try holding it out here. Come on, buddy. All right, so let's just try holding it here. All right, we got it in focus. And yeah, look at that. See how you get that blurred background on the G7X? You just don't get that on the iPhone, yeah? You got it in focus quickly but you don't get the background blurred. Like you do with the G7X. All right, so as far as focusing goes, it really seems like the iPhone is a lot faster on focusing than the G7X, but the G7X image quality, right, is a lot better once you get it to focus and you get the background blur and all of that, it looks really cool. You're just not going to get that with the iPhone. All right, next thing we want to do is jump in the car and we'll get a little car vlog for you so you can hear what that sounds like.
All right, we got the keys, but here is an excellent noise test. Airplane, where is that guy? Oh, he's right up there. You guys hear that airplane? Which camera has the better sound when you have unexpected noise? That's what I want to know. All right, guys, this is what it sounds like in the car with the engine running, but with uh, no air conditioner going. All right, this is what it sounds like. We're gonna turn on the air conditioner now. Yes, that is much cooler, but it's also much noisier, I'm sure. All right, guys, so here we go. I've got you set up on the dashboard, right, on the tripod mount thing. And so that you can kind of see what a dashboard mounted cam would look like if you're thinking about vlogging with one of these cameras right now with the air conditioner running at four, right? And so I'm gonna turn it down to two now. All right, air conditioner's turned down to number two so that you can get an idea of what it sounds like in here with the air conditioner. All right, guys, there you go. Now we're looking forward here checking out the view of the street it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and as you can see there up in the sky it's kind of cloudy today so that gives you an idea of the lighting for today this is definitely not the smoothest street but it's better than no street at all and these guys are hand digging that ditch this is like the place where they like to dump trash illegally. It's also where we go pee illegally. All right guys, we have now come to the part of our test where we wanna see the sound quality on these cameras in a extremely undesirable location. All right guys, we've now come to the sound quality part right of the vlog where we're out in a very noisy location alongside the, the main street here in Joke Jakarta. And if you're like me and you vlog in less than ideal situations, right, the sound quality is gonna be important to you. And so, right, this is what it sounds like here. Try and vlog, where it's super noisy. With the Canon G7X and the iPhone 6 with the Rode Smart Lab microphone. Here's just another simple test as well. I unplugged the microphone from the iPhone. And so this is what the microphone sounds like on the iPhone compared to the G7X in a very loud situation. This is what we're gonna do now. We're going to uh, just cruise back home and then we'll wait for tonight and we'll get some good extreme low light tests for you guys comparing these two cameras. All right, I will talk to you when it's dark. All right, this is the final part of the test here. This is the extreme low light test. Right now, I'm on my porch with the porch light on, one little tiny compact fluorescent light bulb up there shining on us down here. And then uh, this will be the front yard and my car right out there. This gives you a pretty good idea of the difference in light quality, yeah? Or a low light performance. So let's just go take a walk out here and see how these guys are gonna do walking all right so here we go hey there's another plane it sounds like a prop plane so let's look at the low light performance here so there is a fairly significant difference between the two cameras when it comes to low light look at Sarah I see her in one and I can barely see her in the other. So this is the difference here between the G7X and the iPhone 6 in low light and in traffic. Now, I mean, there's a lot of lights here from the cars, but this is kind of what it looks like. And in a second here, once we get past these motorcycle guys, I'll turn on the dome light and talk to you for just a second here. So this is uh, looking at me now. I don't know if you can see me or not at all, but this is looking at me. I'm gonna turn on the dome light here. All right, now that's with the dome lights. Give you an idea of what it would look like vlogging in the car. 